Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. We just received a new report that uh, Josie Smollett, uh, the star of Empire, may have been lying about being attacked in Chicago last week. This is not what I was expecting to hear. So, we're going to discuss everything. So, law enforcement discovered some evidence that JC Smollett may have been lying about what happened to him. What type of proof do they have? And why would JC Smollett would be lying? So we're going to discuss all that guys. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. So all week I've been hearing about the fact that Jesse Smilet may have been lying about what happened to him. He said that he was attacked in Chicago. He said two white men came up to him and say, uh, Empire, Empire, come here. Calling him the N word and the F word and saying that this is mega country. Jesse Smilet says that these guys beat him up. He got into a confrontation with them. And at the end of it, he was able to fight the, fight them off, and the guys run away. So it was quite an interesting uh, story when Jesse Smollett came out, and I wanted to believe him. I was a big fan of Juicy Smollett's character in Empire. Now it turned out that he might have been lying about the whole story. This is absolutely crazy, and honestly, I still don't want to believe that uh, he could be lying about something like this. And why would he even make up such a crazy story? Uh, it's unbelievable, guys. And now it's all over the media and CNN is reporting that uh, Jesse Smollett is definitely lying and uh, they have evidence. There is actually a report from two law enforcement officers uh, stating that uh, they have uh, proof that uh, that Jesse's story is not exactly the truth. This will be a devastating news to his fans. He just seemed like a great guy on that Empire show and, uh, would, uh, and would just never do something like this. I'm wondering what would push Jesse Smollett to even go about doing something like this. So according to the story that's been told right now, the allegation is that Jesse Smollett actually orchestrated the entire incident he created a fake story uh, with two Nigerian guys it's actually two brothers uh, from Nigeria uh, by the name of Abenbola Abel and Alabenjo Ola those guys are bodybuilders and uh, they actually met on the Empire show those guys those those two brothers are also actors and, and according to the reports these guys actually appeared as extra on Empire so there's definitely a lot more that we're gonna find out about this and we also know that the, those two uh, guys also appeared on a PD on the PD TV show so a lot of people are actually saying that that Juicy Smollett was actually gonna get written out of Empire and that uh, they were gonna let him go and uh, take him out of the show but the producers of the show actually came out and said that no they declared that he's actually an integral part of the show that and that it's absolutely not true that they would never take a JC Smollett out of Empire right now and that he's a huge part of this show a lot of reports are saying that he, he created this whole thing so that he could uh, generate uh, publicity and a lot of attention so he could continue on with uh, his career after leaving Empire but the producers of Empire uh, are actually denying that so I don't think we know anything yet guys about this story there is a lot more that I believe will come out but the police at this point uh, the Chicago police they are believing these Nigerian guys uh, they think that these those guys are they actually arrested the, the, those two Nigerian brothers and they have released them and they believe that they are telling the truth uh, those guys have have been cooperating with the police and uh, at this point uh, they believe that that uh, they are telling them the truth and that JC Smollett actually create this entire story and I wanted to believe him all week I've been hearing uh, stories on, on YouTube uh, or on Instagram about the fact that he might be lying about this and I was on on JC Smollett's side guys I, I, I wanted I wanted to believe him and, uh, and he actually had an interview on ABC where he said that he could not believe that people uh, were not believing his his story and that he wanted people to trust him and uh, i was on i was on board with it i, I actually believe Josie smollett uh, he was frustrated with the fact that people wanted to believe that he was lying instead of uh just hearing about his story you know Josie smollett came out of the closet as a gay guy and he's been out he's also playing a gay character on empire so uh so I'm just going to wait and see guys. I think we're going to hear a lot more about this 
and uh, Jesse Jesse Smollett uh, now with uh, now with this allegation out there with the police coming out uh, saying that these two brothers are uh, are telling the truth they're gonna want to see more out of Jesse and they're gonna everybody are waiting to see more out of Jesse Smollett and he really needs to uh, come out now and uh, I don't know I just don't know what he's gonna say but uh, we are waiting for the truth and the fans are also waiting to hear what's gonna happen and if this is true that he's lying about this this would definitely be a big L for Jesse Smollett and I don't know where his career uh, would would be going from here so guys I'm gonna continue to watch this story and give you updates on what's going on I know that I know there's gonna be a lot more to find out and this is absolutely this is taking a crazy turn I don't know where this story is going guys so but I'm on this we, we're gonna find out and uh, I think a lot more gonna gonna come out this week and this weekend uh, we're waiting. Uh, we're waiting. Will this be the end of, of a career for Jesse Smollett? L also for the gay community if they found out that he's been lying and creating this entire story uh, to get more attention. So I'm going to be on this, guys. Uh, I will be posting new video about this story. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we talk about current events every day. So that's it for now. I will talk to you guys later.